Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Minnesota State Park Hiking Club Trail series. Today we travel to Isle, Minnesota to take the hiking club trail at Father Hennepin State Park. Mille Lacs Lake is the second largest lake in the state of Minnesota, the largest being Red Lake. Neither Lake in the Woods or Lake Superior, though both far larger than either of the previously two mentioned, lakes are considered in this list because they aren't completely in Minnesota. Until 1941, there was no state park that was on Lake Mille Lacs. This was remedied when the land became available in 1938, and Father Hennepin, the park, was established by a bill three years later, in 1941. The park is named after Father Louis Hennepin, born in 1626. He became a Belgian Catholic priest and missionary who joined the Franciscans. He then was dispatched to New France in 1675 by another Louis, Louis XIV. He then spent several years exploring and surviving captivity until the end of 1681 when he returned to Europe. He spent his time in Minnesota, nearly a year, as a captive of the Sioux, who captured him near where the Illinois River meets the Mississippi. He brought European attention to two great waterfalls at the, of the time, Niagara Falls and St. Anthony Falls, a waterfall on the Mississippi River that is located in what is now Minneapolis. He went on to write a significant amount of his journey when he returned to Europe. The wildlife of Father Hennepin State Park is varied, including hawks, ospreys, owls, eagles, beavers, raccoons, mink, deer, as well as other small mammals and birds. There is, of course, the fish, northern pike, walleye, bluegills, sunfish, and bass, all found within the lake. The park has a decent amount of forest to hike through, but the forest's most purpose of this park is to preserve the public access to Mille Lacs Lake. And at that aim, it has a decent campground, several docks for water access, and the trails stretch along the shore of the lake, letting you walk within nature while also hearing the sounds of the lake. If it's windy or stormy, you'll hear the turbulent waves crashing upon the rocks or sand of the shore. There is a large sandy beach that provides excellent swimming spot. The ability to camp right on Lake Mille Lacs and have access to it is extremely nice. The location is also geologically significant, as the park sits on the land where the Terminal Moraine Dam stands, the same dam that is responsible for the formation of Lake Mille Lacs. Unlike another lake with a similar formation, such as Lake Chatek, Mille Lacs Lake is significantly deeper, with a maximum depth of 42 feet, with most of the main lake ranging somewhere from 20 to 38 feet. Fun fact, while we're still on the Hennepin topic, Mille Lacs Lakes contains the smallest National Wildlife Refuge, only 0.57 acres in size. It consists of two islands, Spirit Island and Hennepin Island. Accounting for two miles of the hiking club, the trail at Father Hennepin State Park has two really decent potential starting points. There is a parking lot over by the beach area and a parking lot over to the south of the campground. The official start is over south of the campground. The campground start will put you directly on the shore of Lake Mille Lacs immediately and the first half of the trail will be similar trails, with the back half leaving the shore and headed into the woods on the south side of the park. The beach parking lot will put you right at the start of the woods section of the trail, and the back half will be that shore section of the trail. We decided to start from the beach section because it gave my little hiker something to look forward to at the end, and I love the forest sections of most trails because I love the trees. So I, of course, wanted to start here. The first bit of the trail reminded me a bit of the start of numerous other state park trails, but I think the lake really made me think of Lake Louise State Park, which has a similar structure of half by the water in the middle of the woods on the other half. Like Lake Louise State Park, the woods section contains a considerable density of bugs. A quick pace and bug spray kept the majority off me, but it wasn't a foolproof solution. Once you pass through the forest section, you have to turn right at the campground and follow the road until you get to the picnic area at the end of the road. From there, you'll get a good look at the lake and turn towards the trail that stays along the shore. Following that shore path, you'll come across several docks that are there for water access, or one particularly busy dock appeared to be specifically for fishing. The hiking club doesn't go out to the point after the fishing dock, but it's a worthy addition to the trail I'd check out if you have the time. It gives a good look at the lake and a fantastic view of the beach down the way. My favorite part of this park, 
I didn't get a chance to get on video, unfortunately. As we pulled into the park, after having a brief conversation with the ranger about trail conditions and any other relative, relevant information, a deer was grazing lazily by the side of the road. I was so shocked, I didn't think to grab the camera and just enjoyed the moment as we passed. He finally noticed us at the end and just nonchalantly moved into the underbrush in the woods. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like this addition to the series, let us know. Also, let us know which one you'd like to see next.